There are garments that you don't want a bust dart. If you have a plaid or a print or a polka dot or a stripe, you want to make sure that the garment's going to be big enough for you. It's going to not ride up in the front and you have to have enough space, but you don't want the garment to be oversized. So I'm going to show you now how to make a full bust adjustment in a garment. First thing you want to do is measure from the shoulder seam down to the bust point, and you want to measure between the apex of the bust points. You're eventually going to use half this width for one of your measurements. I have transferred the depth of bust and half of the distance between the two bust points to find out exactly where my bust point needs to be on this pattern. Even though I drew the line all the way up to the shoulder seam, we only need it a part of the way up. So I'm going to remove this one underneath. And what we want to do is draw several different lines. The first one that we need is a line that is perpendicular to center front, and it will go all the way from the side seam through the center front line, and it is going through the bus point. The second line we're going to draw is parallel to center front, and we're going to go from the hem through the bust point up to about where the notch is in the arm's eye. If you don't have a notch, you're going to come up about a third of the way. Your third line will connect those two. It will come out of that notch and it will stop at the vertical line. We're going to cut from the center front into the vertical line to the bust point and then we're going to cut the vertical from the bust point to the hem. This section will move down and depending on how large the bust is, this can move about a half inch down for a smaller bust up to two inches. That's as far as this can move down because it will start to skew up the hem and paper will be inserted here. Here is the same front with the paper added with the maximum of two inches down. Now I've only added about an inch and a half. You'll notice with this section having slid down that the hem is now uneven and will have to be trued up. Before we true up the hem, I want to continue working with this section. This section is going to be cut and moved out. We're going to continue cutting along our horizontal line, both top and bottom. And we're going to continue cutting the rest of the vertical line. I don't do these all at once because too many pieces start sliding around the table and it's a lot easier cutting them within sections. This one will now move out so you are getting not only the full bust this way, but also some expansion this way. The most this section is able to move out. Now remember, it's above the bust and it's going into the arm's eye. This can only be about 3 quarters of an inch wide. Anything less is fine, but anything over 3 quarters of an inch wide will start to skew the pattern. In sliding this out, you're going to see that you need to true up your side seam, true up your arm's eye, and at the end will true up the hem. Here is the example complete. I filled it in with blue paper here, which would normally be tissue. I've trued up the arm's eye here using the French curve. I've gone from this point, which is the cutting line of the arm's eye, and I've trued up the side seam going from the cutting line out here to the cutting line at the hem. The final area that you're going to true up is from the corner of the hem to the center front. You'll see that that is quite an arc, but when the full bust adjustment is made, this line actually becomes straight to the viewer when you're wearing the garment. So this is visibly easier. I have toned in the areas that have been trued up, gotten rid of the lines that you don't need to see. So here is the new arm's eye with the trued up section. Here is the trued up section for our side seam. 
and the trued up section for our hem. And the pattern is now ready to start cutting.